The town of Strawn is situated on the edge of Macquarie Harbour on Tasmania's west coast, where two major rivers mix with the sea to create a huge expanse of brackish water. Over the years it's been used to house prisoners and to transport mining and timber products. Today, the big industries are tourism and salmon. Petuna has been farming in Macquarie Harbour since 1991, so we were one of the first um, to start farming here. We grow Atlantic salmon and ocean trout, so trout by ocean trout by nature, they like a brackish water environment. Our fish are, you know, really healthy, really good fish performance. We're getting fantastic feed conversion rates as well. The natural attributes of the harbour have made it popular with fish farmers. But scientists say the rise of the industry has coincided with the decline of a little known creature that lives nowhere else on Earth, the Morgean skate. It's the only skate species in the world that lives exclusively in, in brackish water, so between salt and fresh water. It's basically evolved through millions of years to, to exploit this very unique, challenging place. But that has come at the cost of, of being a generalist, of being able to adapt to other things quickly. In the last five years or so, we've seen almost a halving of the population. David Moreno and Jason Simmons have been monitoring the Morgean skate population for the past 13 years. The research has found not only are the numbers dropping rapidly, but very few skates are being born. You know, it's pretty clear the environmental change is what's caused this issue. But in terms of the really urgent ones that are causing the biggest issue, that's, that's the dissolved oxygen. Macquarie Harbour is a naturally low oxygen waterway, but experts say those oxygen levels went into decline between 2009 and 2013 and haven't recovered. The Morgean skate couldn't adapt. I remember, in fact, in, in uh, March of 2022, David and I you know, standing on the boat going, you know, this is, this is really worrying, we need to do something about that. And we had the, we've had the interim, interim report that came out earlier this year and that was really the, um, the thing that triggered it. That interim report was released in May and it got the attention the researchers hoped it would. Researchers are raising the alarm over the rapid decline of Tasmania's endemic Morgian skate. Research shows there was a 47% decline in the species between 2014 and 2021. Tasmanians are being warned a single extreme weather event might spill the end for the endangered Morgian skate. A few months later, the Federal Environment Department updated its conservation advice for the skate. It noted that the most important anthropogenic contributor to the oxygen debt in Macquarie Harbour is ongoing salmonid aquaculture. And to ensure the species does not go extinct, before this summer it recommended increasing the levels of dissolved oxygen in Macquarie Harbour via a reduction in salmonid aquaculture and or using mechanical or engineering environmental remediation technologies. The science is clear. It's rare that you have an opportunity like this where one decision can either save a species or send a species extinct. The Australia Institute has written to Environment Minister Tanya Plibersek claiming she has a legal responsibility under the Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act to review a 2012 decision allowing an expansion of the salmon industry in Macquarie Harbour. The decision was made on the basis that salmon farming would not have a significant impact on the Morgean skate and it's clear that it is. If new information becomes available about the impacts of an activity on a matter of national environmental significance, you can trigger a review of that decision. In a letter to the Tasmanian Premier, Minister Plibersek confirmed her office was considering that request for a review. If the reconsideration finds that the salmon industry in Macquarie Harbour does not have the necessary environmental approvals, the Act would require operations to pause while approvals are sought. Well, we're not sure what that means. Um, and again, what's a bit frustrating, and again, it's clearly causing a lot of uncertainty, is the fact that the Minister hasn't actually committed to do a review yet, which is already signalling what a review might lead to. But the notion around pausing an industry with live livestock um, in real time, I mean, we don't understand how that could be done. Um, I'm not sure if any bureaucrats in Canberra know how that could be done. The salmon industry says any pause or reduction will cost jobs. 
in a part of the state which has few other major employers. It wants to focus on another element of the conservation advice, the use of environmental remediation technologies. Aquaculture has an impact on dissolved oxygen levels in the harbour. No one's denying that and certainly what we believe is the most practical thing for us to do is to remove that as a factor, which is what this oxygenation project is ultimately trying to do. Where we're actually going to inject water into the deeper, um, deeper water systems of Macquarie Harbour and do a trial to see if we can improve the oxygen system, um, oxygen levels in the system. Experts say oxygenation schemes have worked overseas and offsetting salmon's impact could help. But salmon farming isn't the only reason oxygen in the harbour has declined. The damming of rivers which feed into it to produce hydroelectricity also plays a role, as does changes to weather patterns and water temperature due to climate change. There isn't a silver bullet, there isn't a single thing that you could change that would just fix the situation. It really has to be managed holistically. With that in mind, their immediate focus is getting skates out of Macquarie Harbour and into a captive breeding program. So this is our uh, skate nursery facility and right now we have eggs from two different species. And the ultimate goal of this is to have a project that ends, uh, right? The most successful breeding program is the one that you don't need anymore. It's hoped both the captive breeding program and the oxygenation trial will be up and running in the coming weeks. A spokesperson for the Department of Climate Change, Energy, the Environment and Water said a decision on whether it will review salmon farming